Let's get the sword to try, shall we? <laughs> Lizard <laughs> man. <laughs> What are they meant to be? I think it's a lizard man. <laughs> or like on Spider Man. <laughs> like you're on Spider Man, James. It's a scientist guy who turned into a lizard, didn't he? Oh, yeah. I had no idea about that guy's storyline. Don't need that. Did you ever play a game called uh, Shadow of Memories? No, I've heard of it, but I haven't actually played it. I was just wondering, just to randomly change the subject. What do you have to do on it? Uh, you play as a guy called Ike Kush and you have to uh, stop yourself from being murdered. Sounds <coughs> You have to travel through time to uh, sort of prevent his murder. It's really good because it sort of plays with time travel in a strange way. Instead of just going back in time and stopping the guy who kills him, he has to go back in time like 400 years and go to the very root of how his destiny to die was caused. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. What, what was it for? <coughs> it's been released in America and Japan on the PSP, but uh, I don't like that version because they changed the voice actors. Yeah, the voice actor for Ike in that one was the guy who was uh, Zack in the first <coughs> uh, Well, the voice acting can't get worse than the um, first Resident Evil. <laughs> no, I've heard worse, don't worry. Stop! Don't open that door. <laughs> <coughs> There's a lot of worse voice acting out there, that's the most commonly picked on one. <laughs> Great game, but bad voice acting. Yeah. I love the Resident Evil series. Especially any new um new take they're coming on it on Operation Raccoon City. Yeah, that'll be interesting. The first person squad based shooter. I know it's still third uh, person. Third person. <coughs> <coughs> You'll be able to change them key storyline events, like you'll be able to like kill Leon or someone, like Claire or Chris. You'll be able to kill them, and it'll radically change the storyline of the original games. It'll be pretty good to see how they go about that. Yeah. I mean, um, one thing I'm a bit iffy about on the game though is the fact that you know they've given you classes again, like they've split it up into medic class and stealth class and all of that. So it, it just seems like if you were to play co op with your buddies, if one of you wanted to be a stealth guy but somebody else was, then you can't as well. So yeah. you can't really, like, see what I'm saying? Mm. I mean, I, I'm sure it'll work out easy enough, which means you'd have to, like, agree with each other and compensate and things like that. Well, what I'm mainly looking forward to at the moment is um, the Mercenaries 3D and Revelation. The 3DS one. Oh, right. Mercenaries 3D is just the uh, popular mercenaries mode, which I quite enjoy. And uh, Re Revelation is supposed to take place just after the events of Five I think it was. You play as a. Uh, well, from the uh, demo, you get uh, Jill Valentine, but apparently you'll be able to play as Chris in it as well. Ah, oh, nice. Which begs the question when will I get to play as Leon S. Kennedy again? Yeah, they seem to have just pushed him aside recently for the series. I mean, he's not even in the mercenaries. Yeah, that's a shame, so I was looking forward to playing as him in the mercenaries. At least you get, um, Rebecca Chambers. Yeah, 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 just solely him again. Yeah, well, the last time he was in a game was in um, Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles on the Wii, I think it was. Alright. Or the Umbrella Chronicles, I can't remember which one was the last one. That's one thing I didn't mind about um, some of the Resident Evil games, was where they turned into like the House of the Dead version sort of thing. You know, it's like an on-rail shooter. Yeah. Some of those were pretty good. Ah, uh, the nut. Where's the nutcracker though? It's in one of those uh, rooms that I passed earlier. Have you opened the box? Yeah, you got something covered, didn't you? Yeah. Where do we get the bowl from? The what? The bowl, because remember you get the bowl when you put it oh, in the yeah, well. It's in one of those rooms again. 
in one of those rooms again. I think I have to use this key to get into one of them. I'm not sure though. There's only one way to find out. Tell what I'm looking forward to is coming out soon. What? The uh, Green, Lan Green Lantern and Captain America movies. No, I'm not really that bored about movies really. Oh, I love the Marvel comic movies. I mean, I've, I haven't really read the actual comic books themselves, but, you know, I just love superheroes and all that crap. I've always have since I've been a kid. I'm not really that big on it. I mean, most of the time I just play games. That's it for me. I watch the movie occasionally, but that's about it. Watch Advent Children. Yeah, well, I mean, the last movie I saw was X-Men First Class, and that was the first movie I'd seen for about s seven or eight months. That was a pretty good movie, X-Men First Class. I liked it. Yeah. The only movie I've seen before that was, um, last movie I saw before that was Paprika. I anime. don't think I've heard of that. It's an anime film. It's, uh, it's sort of like, uh, they get this, uh, there's this machine that can be used to, uh, go into people's dreams. Oh, right. The uh, guy who, uh, directed Inception said that that was kind of one of his brains behind it. You still yet to see Inception, aren't you? Yep. It's a brilliant movie in there as well. It's not it looks brilliant to get a uh, Blu-ray. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get it on, on Blu-ray. I mean the storyline as well, it's like well, yeah, my, you know, my cousin told me about it, it's like they have to go inside this guy's dreams and then inside fervent of subconscious to implant an idea or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Because the what what it's about is that um it's about obviously people who get into other people's dreams and use that to extract information. And this guy approaches me and says, Alright, we've heard about people taking information from the mind. What about implanting an idea into someone's head? So, you know, obviously at first they think, Oh no, you know, that's impossible and that. They haven't tried it. But then, you know, some cir circumstances lead him to actually attempt it with this team that he sets up. And then it all just goes from there. That's another interesting thing I've learned about that movie is that if you take all the uh, main characters, the first letters from all their names, it spells dreams. Does it? Yeah. That's the only interesting fact I know about that movie. It also has like uh, the endings as well. I'm not going to say what the ending is, but when yeah, you I've watch heard a lot about that. People say it's like sort of very open. Yeah, but when you watch it, literally, it has like there's loads of different theories that people have had on the ending, like what's happened to the characters and things like that. I'll have to see it then. It is. It's a really good movie. At first, the first one I first um, saw, the, well, not saw it, but I heard about it. From like friends and that saying, oh, it was really good and that. I, just, I didn't really like the looks then. I thought it wouldn't be something that I'm interested in. But when you start to watch it, it's, it's a lot more than that. It becomes brilliant. It's a brilliant movie. Director, uh, whose name I, I can never pronounce, M. Night. No, that's not well, Sh it? Shamalam, I think it was. He didn't direct it. If he directed it, it would have been a crap movie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. No, it wasn't him. It definitely wasn't. Is it, that's the guy who directed the happening, happening Jason. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look this up now. It's been inception in a mm, little Wikipedia article. It's the guy who did the Dark Knight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that wasn't thingy. Oh, Christopher Nolan, that's it. Duh. I still I see it. Got see it. Hey, where the hell do I get that from? <laughs> He did a few good movies, but I, The I Happening don't... was just... <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> happening was so bad. I see the ending to that, it was horrible. Oh, it was the whole thing. <laughs> I saw most of it when I was around a friend's house, and he just sort of didn't get it either. Just ridiculously stupid ending. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I watched it, and I understood it. I just thought... Why would you make a movie on it? This is the worst sort of story and plotline you could think of. I know. But yeah, Christopher Nolan's done quite a lot of good movies. Yeah. Memento, obviously the Batman series and Inception, those are just a few of like the well known ones. And then you've got the new ones coming out, the new Batman films, I'm not quite sure what it's called. So they the Dark Knight Rises or something like that. Yeah. I've still got to see the Dark Knight. I've seen it in as well. I haven't seen it. 
But then again, I'll probably name loads and you'll probably say you haven't seen me. I don't want to name these loads, then. Tell you what, I am going to look up that M. Night Shiver. Whatever the hell his name is. Well, then he's the one who also directed that movie, The Village. Called what? The Village. I think so. Oh, that's where I remember him from. Um, Sixth Sense. Oh, yeah. The one with the great twist ending everyone went on about for weeks. Yeah. One that I didn't really care that much for. But if you didn't know the ending of The Sixth Sense by <laughs> now, then, you know, you haven't really... You obviously don't watch a lot of movies. He was dead all along. <laughs> See, even you, even you know the ending to it, and you don't really watch, watch a lot of movies, you should say yourself. In the last five years, I've been to the cinema to see about five movies. I liked one of them. Actually, no, if you count yesterday, well, no, two. Six mo two movies I liked in, out of six in five years. Yeah, there's only like three movies by this guy that I actually like, just looking at it now. Yeah, X-Men um, was one. Signs, Unbreakable, and Six Sense. I haven't seen any of them. All I do know the end of Six Sense. But um, I mean, like he's done other other ones. He's done like The Last Airbender <laughs> and The Happening and The, the series Village, of, like you said. The series was supposed to be quite good of uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender, but that movie was supposed to be full of crap. Yeah. I'm not sure because I don't I don't really know anybody who's personally gone to see it. All I've seen is just reviews of your websites and things like that. Which, I don't know, some say it's good for a kid's film, but apart from that overall, it's not really that great at all. If you're saying it's good for a kid's film, that's not a good positive thing to say about a movie. Yeah. But then again, though, it wasn't exactly aimed at adults, was it? It kind of think an adult sort of anime though. and just turned it into a kid's film. It kind of was the only problem with it was that it was supposed to be sort of like appealing to the fans of the series. And of course that failed horribly. Yeah. Because they all hated it. But I mean you find that most with the... Uh, most things like enemies and games and stuff like that have been turned into movies. A lot of them are just terrible. Yeah, they, they make a good transition. That's not recording. No, it's still going. It's still yeah. recording. I don't know why it just cut out quickly. I know, I've got to go to that one first, haven't I? I'm not even sure where we are at the moment, what we've got to do. We're nearly oh, we've got to go to the jail. Yeah, we're nearly finished, I think. It's taken us nearly half the amount of time it took us to complete the first playthrough. Which is quite something. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've got to get that ring first. Oh yeah, you can beat it off that guy in the um, jail cells, don't you? Yeah. Then there's a key, isn't it? Yeah. And then that's the key to the jail cell. And then oh, you yeah. go in the jail cell with the candle. Yeah. Oh yeah, you've got to get the candle and burn the haystack and there's a thing in there. Yeah. And then it all goes on from there. This game is extremely short. I only just realised, like people complain about games and that nowadays being like eight something hours long. This one's like two hours if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, but to be fair, this isn't a good game, is it? Though? Yeah, I suppose. See, the thing is for me when it comes to games is that I, I don't mind really long games like, you know, like the Final Fantasy series and stuff, but I find it really daunting not having to like go and play through it. I don't know, I like the uh, adventure. I like starting from one place, you're just this, you know, like in Final Fantasy VII, you're just this small time mercenary just uh, bombing a reactor and you end up fighting Sephiroth at the end, who's just basically turning into a god. Yeah. How how you get from that one point to, to the next is just amazing. I just like the sort of narrative that goes through it. I mean, JRPGs are my sort of, one of my favourite types of genres, but the problem is though is that it's not that I don't have the patience to play through them all, because I've played through quite a few of Final Fantasies and stuff. It's just that when it comes to, you know, like, it comes to actually trying to complete it, by then other new games have been released and I've gone on to them and I forgot about it. Like, I'm assuming I haven't even completed Final Fantasy XIII yet. I've com really completed it. I still haven't completed it yet. I nearly completed it. I got that in, like, December, because I got the Japanese copy. Yeah. No, I don't like it, it's just that I just haven't really had the time. Yeah, I mean, it's just like we've been saying, like, new games have been released, so I'm... 
I'm not sure what came out around the time just after Final Fantasy was released, but I played it for ages. And then I either, I think it must have been like my birthday or something, and then I just got, it can't have been my birthday, but I just got other games anyway, and I just kind of stopped and forgot about it. Yeah. If I was to go back to it now, I'd have no idea where I am, so I think I'd just be better off starting a whole new game again. I know where I am, even though I've played it Japanese. It's confusing, but it still sort of made sense. Yeah, at the moment my um oh what I'm really looking forward to though is Catherine. Oh yeah, Catherine, you've been telling me about this. Yeah. Man having to choose between two women while suffering from strange nightmares. Which if he uh doesn't survive in his dreams he'll die. It's quite a strange like storyline, isn't it really? He wouldn't expect anything less than uh, the Persona team at Atlas. It's made by the same people who made Persona three and Persona Four. Yeah. So uh Needle in the headstand. Yep. Must be drawing near to the end of our journey now. Yeah. Well, I say journey, I mean extremely long, winded, puzzling. <laughs> yeah. Be kind, this is our first let's play. Yeah, I mean, we were just sat there in silence while we just run around doing nothing. Hmm.